Hello everyone and welcome! In this video we'll be track testing and off-road testing the 2015 GMC Canyon 4-wheel drive SLE Crew Short Box. This is a pickup from GMC featuring a 3.6 liter V6 engine producing 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque, which I'll be comparing to the Ford F-150, the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, and the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. Starting with the drawbacks, the GMC has the least torque of the group, the lowest ground clearance, and has the lowest towing capacity at 7,000 pounds. That said, it's the lightest weight, rated 24 mpg on the highway, is the lowest cost truck tested, and the handling felt surprisingly good during the airstrip testing. Check out the video description for videos of the compared models. Starting off with visibility out the front to the sides good. Looking out the rear, not too bad. Of course you do have plenty of visibility since that rear window is up closer to you in these pickups and not bad checking your blind spot. So visibility overall pretty good in the GMC Canyon. Steering wheel leather wrapped, plenty of controls on it. You've got your cruise control, you've got your voice controls, decent sized screen. You've got some storage up front here, which is nice. Also this strange little storage area right here. Traction control, your bed light. Okay, so first we will do our acceleration test in the GMC Canyon. Foot down, good amount of torque, good amount of power throughout the power man. Decent acceleration. And we'll come over here and do our parking test with Herman the Dinosaur. Backing up. Good visibility from the camera, though the resolution is pretty low. And there's our dinosaur friend Herman hanging out enjoying the sunshine. And we'll go do some slalom in a truck. Understeer is to be anticipated. So we'll try this at about 25 and see how it goes. Lots of body roll. Actually doing not too bad. Ooh, a lot of understeer when you push it. And braking from 40. Seems to be a little bit over 50 feet. I did kind of brake a little bit early there, but good braking and the pedal feel was pretty good at the limit. We're going to see how this thing does off-road. I've got the traction and stability control off and it is in four-wheel drive high. Here we've got a little bit of water to go through. Overall seems to steer the direction I aim it. Fairly quiet inside, comfortable. Here's the deep water section. Let's see how we do in here. No trouble. Definitely capable. Good traction. It is comfortable in this interior. I mean, you don't hear too much as far as noise from the ground and also not too much problem with comfort from a suspension point of view. Decent amount of travel and it's comfortable, well-maintained. 